Hello, welcome to part two of my book collection. I do keep some books in here because they don't fit on my shelf and these are the ones that I keep in there. And these ones as well. And then, there's four in piece. I did skip the last chapter with all the exposition in. The episode guide to Classic Who, which I decided to read when I watched the Christopher Eccleston series, for oh, better catch up with everything. <laughs> and now my Doctor Who series guides. Then some interesting books about psychology. And us. And In Style magazine. Top Gear Angle. I love Top Gear. I love James May. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. I don't really know much about cars, but I just like watching Top Gear. I just like watching the lads messing about. Then on my bottom shelf, I've got my art box. I like art a lot. I do a lot of drawing. When, when I'm confident about my drawing, I do. So these are all my art books some fashion and some retail design books and some books about makeup. Now I've got these, this series, you start with Master and Commander then you follow the series through but if you don't like boots be careful when you read them because it's so descriptive you'll feel every motion of the boot. They are really good to read. Then He's a good thriller writer. Then Doctor Who Fairfax, because Doctor Who's cool. Born shop books, I just like reading about shops, mainly. Well, Dorrit, that was good to see how they interpreted the text into the TV series, because I read that at the same time as the TV series. And then Al Cars Autobiography. Which is cool. And some more Bond shop books, because I just like shops. James Bond, the box set. Then the years. Some script books. That is one of my favourite books. It's really interactive. It's really fun. And he's done that one as well. That is also really, really fun. It's more of a, like an activity book. It's really fun. Yes, I do say fun a lot, don't I? That one is one of the books. I have a few books that's like really, really cool books, really special books. That's one of them. It's brilliant. That this this is highly recommended. It's all about dimensions, dream worlds, and travelling in between them, I totally recommend that book. And that's what I read when I was younger, when I was echo. And it's really good. And more stuff about what I'm interested in, art in, in the inner world and stuff. Then, as I said before, this is my Buffy fiction collection. So I've stuck them definitely to the film. So yeah, that's a good just little book, just a quick laugh. It's good stuff in that. I'm Taru. I like video games a lot. Been video gaming since I was Echo. Since I was about four, started off on the BBC computer. Then eventually I got an Amiga, which is Ace. I played Golden Ox a lot, and I swear, I've, I swear I completed it, but I'm not sure. But it's a cool game though. And so, video games figures on here. And I don't really collect these. Just thought it because it was so 
just the epitome of Britain. I thought it would look cool. Then I've got a TARDIS, of course. Oh, yes. And a mini Dalek set. Because you've just got to have one of those, haven't you? Another Dalek. And some more video games figures. And ornaments, berries. Some miniature books from the miniature book series, which I. That's uh, the ones I've got. Generation fiction bit. So, and this shelf is my entire book collection. And some ornaments what I painted. And that figure from one of my favourite stories, Little Perimeters. And, and on top of my bookshelf. Buffy library set. Big old side on that. And they're cute cartoon figures. Doctor Who characters. And David Tennant himself. Hello. See, I might have to do part three. As I did if I can take the books off here without them being an avalanche. So there may be a part three to this series of bookshelf videos because there's loads more books back there there's quite a few books so yeah. if you have any comments please leave a comment if you want me to do a video about anything you've seen on my bookshelves then just let me know and I shall consider making another video. Thank you for watching.